uh, Abraham Lubega here from Uganda, the representative of my neighbor, my hero. We are here at Lakai School of Nursing, where Narugo Kerea and Evelyn Arupo go in their pursuit uh, of nursing in the certificate to attain a certificate in nursing. So we thank God for my neighbor, my hero, so much because it has turned this girl's life upside down. Because here in Uganda, many girls have dropped out of school because of tuition, because poverty is too much here in Uganda. Parents cannot afford, those who have parents, and those and the majority here uh, are orphans. Many kids are orphans. They can't get education. They can't access good education. But we are so thankful to my neighbor, my hero, who have picked up these children. For sure, my neighbor, my hero, has restored the hope in this girl's life. Because girls of that age, many of them, they are in prostitution. They have lost hope. They are in bars. They are doing all funny things. But now, these girls, they can't see where they are going. So we are believing God that many more girls like them, they are going to be enrolled in this program because God is still in the business of doing good. God has never stopped. He did good in the first place in Genesis and he is still doing good and is going to do good tomorrow because it's the same yesterday, today and forevermore. So we are grateful for my neighbor, my hero, for what he's doing here in Uganda in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessings. God bless you so much. I'm Nalugo Kelea, and I'm 20 years. I'm one orphan. I lost my parents when I was too young, and my life has not been so easy because I've been supported by my brothers and my sisters. And since I joined this organization, my life has changed a lot because they have given me each and everything that I need to be at school and I'm working hand in hand to become a successful, a successful person in, in future and help other people who are unable to help themselves. I attend school at Lakai Community School of Nursing where I think I'm going to achieve my future of becoming a responsible nurse by helping the unable people and other categories of people by giving them what they cannot afford when I have finished my studies. Before I joined my neighbor, my ill, my life was not good because I had lost hope in studying whereby my cousins were unable to, to, teach, to take me to another level. I had sat for all level, whereby I was supported by my brother, who was unable to, to, take, to push me to the, next, to the next level because he had lost his job and even himself, he had children. So, so my life was not good. Then I decided to, to sell shoes at the streets of Kampala 
hoping that I'm going to raise my tuition, but it wasn't something simple. I needed two to three years to raise money for one semester, yet my course had five, year, had five semesters, which is two years and a half. I had lost hope because I could not make it. People around me advised me to get married because most of my age mates had got married and I decided to get a boyfriend. Having thought that getting a boyfriend would change my situation, but it made my life more worse. Then I decided to give my life to Jesus Christ. Having started my life with Christ, a friend of mine shared, shared a message on the Facebook of Sir Henley and I picked the interest. I followed the page and I had a chance of seeing other messages which changed my life in the way that I could not expect. And on the Facebook page, I got the details of applying for the scholarship on the website and and I applied, then I was given a positive response. It referred me to Pastor Hablaham Lubega, who came and proved my story. I thought it would take me a year, but on my surprise, they answered me so quickly, and they gave me everything that I needed including the tuition, which is being paid in time by Mr. Hablaham Lovega. And I'm so grateful for the wonderful work you are doing in my life. And therefore, I take this opportunity to thank the founders of My Neighbor, My Hero, who have supported me. And I know they are not supporting me alone, but they are also supporting other but they're also supporting other people which are like me. May the Almighty Lord bless you. And this was the turning point of my life. And when I joined my neighbor, my ill, I've been able to get my personal payments and, and the tuition for the school. And right now I can say that I can achieve the dream, my dream of becoming a nurse. The school is so good whereby it has it has it has a conducive environment for learning the teachers with qualified teachers and and disciplined students the course has not been so bad cause i can understand each and everything that they are teaching in class and the advice that I can give to my fellow girls, those who have lost hope, is to turn to God and pray. Because I know, by God, everything is possible. I'm called Dalupo Ivrin, a resident of Kumi District. And I'm 20 year, 21, year, 21 years. Before coming to know about my neighbor, my hero, my life was not all that certain where whereby I lost my father when I was six years and we were five siblings and mom was unable to sustain each and everything that we needed in life. So some of us had to work for our own tissue for our own tuition and I got a chance to be taken by my cousins, not knowing like they would take me as a house worker while they pay my tuition for primary level. And after getting a, a result slip of primary level, there were no hopes of joining secondary level because they were, they were saying like, 
they will not be able to pay the big amount of money for joining secondary level. So I had to remain home and work for one year to get money for the secondary level, whereby it pushed me up to senior theory. And thereafter, I had to drop out of school. I sat home. Since mom was unable to sustain each and everything, she was just a peasant. So I had no hopes of getting back back to school and get a certificate of senior for ordinary level. So I had to come up to Kampala and I got favored I got favored to be taken as a house worker. I worked. I explained to my boss why I had why I had to work at that age. And indeed she was she was so good to me. And I had to raise money. Then the following year I had to go back to get a certificate of ordinary level. I was at Chitagobwa SS in Impiji district. Is where I sat for my ordinary level. I I had a brother, a cousin brother, who was at Impiji working as a mobile man attendant. So he requested me to go and stay with him while I attend school. But since I had uh, since I admitted myself to go with him, not knowing like he was the same as the other ones. So life wasn't easy then. So after I got my, I, after I finished my final exams, I had to travel back to Kumi. I was at Kumi. I, I was doing this part-time job of self-employment. I used to fry dizzy donuts here and move around no, selling so as to keep on with life since I had lost hopes of going back to school. After I finished my senior four, I had to travel back to my home district that is in Kumi. When I traveled, when the results came back that I had passed, though not excellently, but I managed to pass, I had to see a way forward of raising fees for senior five. So I had connections with people in Kampala they tried to look for me where the where I could fit without qualifications and they got got me a place that I worked for two months in Mukono working as a receptionist in a certain clinic but due to circumstances that were there so I had to leave I called my friend Brenda, I came to I came to work in her house as a maid while I was looking for fees for senior four. That's how I came to know Brenda, and for the due time that I was with her, she was so good. Not like these other people, like they take housemaids as nobodies, but. She was so good to me and we kept on that relationship. She kept on encouraging me that I would go back to school one day somehow. God will see me through and this is how I got to know her. Yeah, I called her. I narrated to her what had happened to me at Mukono. So she told me like, it's fine if I come this way because it was near from Mukono up to here in Intinda. While I looked for transport for like for going back to Komi, not knowing like a great opportunity 
would come by then. So I came, she took me in as her own, stayed with her for the whole of December, January. Then she was, she kept on telling, she kept on telling me about my neighbor, my hero, how I would get hope. So that's how I got that opportunity. One time when I op I went on Facebook on her phone and I managed to see my neighbor, my hero, and I got interested. I asked her a few things about it and she was like, you continue talking to them, never know something might happen. So that's how I got to meet my neighbor, my hero, through Facebook, just like that. Uh, when I was working as a receptionist eh, in Mukono, one of the hospitals in Mukono, I picked that interest of becoming a nurse because I saw people, many people were hopeless, nurses and doctors were like not giving them much attention, so I had to pick that interest that one day somehow would also want to wish to help someone to restore her life back or his life back, like to help him in where he or she cannot help him. So I got interested in it. Mm. The challenge was when I picked the interest in nursing, little did I know that where would I get the tuition from. So I had to think all possible ways on how to raise the fees. I had to call people around like to get me some bigger, bigger job in order for me to raise the tuition. So far, if it was to analyze, it would take me over seven years to achieve what, what I wanted. I would work for one, two years to raise the, the semester fee for one semester. And it seemed impossible. When I applied to my neighbor, my hero, they replied to me and they referred to, they referred Pastor Aluwega Abraham, whereby he reached to me and he helped me pass through all that I, I was not able to pass through by my own. He searched for me at school. He helped me shop for the requirements that I was sent for. Since then, my life has not been the same. She has totally changed through my neighbor, my hero. So far since my neighbor, my hero, gave hand in hand, gave hand in helping me. Life has not, I have so far not faced any challenge since I've been given each and everything. My tuition is paid in time. The requirements, I have received all that I had always dreamed for the care and love that I lacked, I lacked. My neighbor, my hero has been able to give it unto me. So I'm so thankful for my neighbor, my hero. May God bless you. My neighbor, my hero, I'm so, so much thankful for you. Since then, my life has not been the same. You have changed my life. You brought back hopes whereby I had lost hopes. You brought me back from where I had reached. Hopes of becoming a nurse. Since then, I have so much hopes in you. You brought back, you are the light in my life. May God bless you and bless you abundantly and add you that add you more in life. Add you the years. 
add you each and everything that you require in life. May God bless you. Thank you so much. Patrick Chivumbi is my name. I work here as the school administrator. We are Rakai Community School of Nursing. We are located in Rakai District, Rakai Town Council. We offer three courses at certificate level. That is certificate nursing, certificate midwifery, certificate comprehensive nursing. Our courses are two and a half years. That is five semesters. Uh, with my students, Nalugo Claire and uh, Lupo Evelyn, I find them to be committed and they seem to be enjoying the course. We started in 2003. It's 18 years down the road. And our services are appreciated by the community in which we live and the communities our students serve. Uh, our student enrollment is 400, 450. That's our range. We also offer a diploma, comprehensive nursing, but then at the extension program. That is running one and a half years. A student is required to have completed their certificate. Then they gain that working experience of two years. Then they can enroll for diploma, comprehensive extension program. <laughs>